During the second week of the high-profile defamation trial between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, the testimonies are shifting toward the mental health of Heard. That presented um, essentially her own opinions and the self-report of Ms. Heard as facts. Dr. Shannon Curry, a psychologist, was called to the stand to speak on Heard's mental issues. Did Dr. Curry just prove Heard took pleasure in hurting Depp? What else did her testimony reveal? Let's find out. Dr. Shannon Curry is a psychologist hired by Depp's legal team, and she testified that she believes Amber Heard has a borderline personality disorder, as well as a hysteronic personality disorder. Dr. Curry's test results hint that Amber Heard found pleasure in punishing Depp, typical for people with these disorders. She stated that she spent around 12 hours with Amber Heard and took some mental health tests of Heard. Curry also reviewed their health records, audio recordings, documents, and photos of Heard. Based on the test results, she believes Heard has inner hostility and is judgmental, self-righteous, and full of rage. These are not downright factual, but her scores were consistent with other people who have shown through studies to have these specific traits. Curry's testimony comes as lawyers for Heard and Depp have tried to paint the other as the aggressor in their defamation trial. Depp sued Heard for $50 million after Heard, in an op-ed for the Washington Post, said she was a domestic violence victim. Depp testified that he was the actual victim of domestic violence during their relationship. Curry testified that Heard's test results stated she had a personality type tied to cruelty and anger, usually with people who are less powerful. When psychologists see this code type, it is best to follow up with the patient's co-workers, subordinates, and others who may have observed their behavior closely. Curry stated that the 36 code type is highly concerned with their image, very prone and attention-seeking to externalizing blame to a point where it's un clear whether they can even admit to themselves that they do have a responsibility in some areas. Additionally, Curry believes Heard has borderline disorder. The defining characteristic of borderline personality disorder is instability showing up in a person's relationships, behavior, emotions, identity, and sense of self. The National Institute of Mental Health defines a borderline personality disorder as a mental illness severely impacting a person's ability to regulate their emotions. The loss of emotional control will increase in impulsivity, affecting how people feel about themselves and negatively impacting their relationships. People having borderline personality disorder will experience intense mood swings and feel uncertain about how they see themselves. Their feelings for others will change quickly and swing from extreme closeness to dislike. These changes in feelings lead to unstable relationships as well as emotional pain. Hence, in this, the person goes idealized, the perfect here to the dumpster. Then there's a repair because the person with this disorder does feel remorseful, but with time, it wears away at these relationships. For that, Curry said that the underlying terror of abandonment drives instability. Dr. Curry also testified in the courtroom at the Fairfax County Circuit Courthouse in Virginia on April 26, 2022. She said there, when someone has the disorder, that they're afraid of abandonment and will make multiple attempts to prevent someone from leaving using threats, physical aggression, or harming themselves. A tactic people with borderline personality disorder may use it to assault someone and get harmed physically. They also make threats to use the legal system, like filing a restraining order or will claim abuse. In 2016, Amber Heard obtained a restraining order for Depp, including a picture of her bruised face in the court filing. Curry further added that she believes Heard has a histrionic personality disorder and its primary features are shallowness and drama. People with this disorder have unstable, intense emotions as well as distorted self-images. Their self-esteem depends on the approval of others and don't arise from the feeling of self-worth. They have an overwhelming desire to be noticed and often behave inappropriately and dramatically dramatically to get attention. People with this disorder are somehow uncomfortable with not being the center of attention, and when they feel like they're not, they will make up stories, take on a princess or victim role, seek caretaking, etc. Amber Heard was described as living with the effects of trauma, like she was triggered by watching the testimony of Christine Blasey Ford, accusing Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh of a sexual assault. Heard stated to Times Magazine that she didn't hide under a table when she heard a loud bang, though that happens to some people with PTSD. Instead, trauma sneaks up on you weirdly, where suddenly you find yourself in a puddle on the floor, crying while watching a play out live on Fox. 
Based on Curry's evaluation, she stated that she believes Heard doesn't have PTSD and was highly exaggerating symptoms of PTSD when asked about them in her second testimony in the last week of the trial. Heard said she had 19 out of these 20 symptoms. That's not typical of someone with a highly disabling form of PTSD, and Curry finally said that when she continued to ask Amber Heard about her symptoms, she found Heard had 3 out of 20. And now, we would like to hear your thoughts on the issue. Do you think Heard intended to punish Depp? Where do you stand in this trial? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, like and subscribe to keep in touch with all things pop culture.